Welcome to our Gospel reading, Reflection and Prayer for the fourth Sunday of the year. Before we begin, can I just say that at the end of this video we'll provide contact details for our local Stella Maris chaplains and for our website where you can find details of our port chaplains around the world. We'd love to hear from you. Always keep your Stella Maris port chaplain directory to hand. It's also available online. And so to the fourth Sunday. What can free us from bothering about the world's affairs? The authority of Jesus, who gives orders even to unclean spirits, and they obey him. The people in the time of Moses begged for such a prophet. That promise is fulfilled definitively in Jesus Christ, whose authority astonishes the assembled crowd. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, so that you would give your undivided attention to the Lord. To him you must listen, because following Christ makes us more human and fills us with a burning desire for things which go beyond this world. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. In the city of Capernaum on the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught, and they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one who had authority and not as the scribes. And immediately there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent, and come out of him. And the unclean spirit convulsing him and crying with a loud voice, came out of him. And they were all amazed, so that they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this? A new teaching. With authority he commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And at once his fame spread everywhere throughout all the surrounding region of Galilee. It is not often that we hear the devil spoken of, but the devil is real. And because he is jealous of our friendship with God, he wages an endless battle against us, continually inciting us to rebellion against God's will. St. Paul teaches that we are not contending against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Yes, we are very much in a battle against the devil and his angels, but Christ, who battles with us, has already conquered. Christ has been vested with supreme power, and even the demons tremble in his presence. The miraculous cure of the man with unclean spirit was a confirmation of his supernatural power. So everything visible and invisible is subject to the authority of Christ. The coming of God's kingdom signals the end of Satan's kingdom. His authoritative preaching and the miracles he worked revealed him as the Holy One of God, and we must all acknowledge his supreme authority over us, not out of fear, but out of genuine faith. The Blessed Virgin has immense power over the devil. The demons tremble in her presence. They are terrified of her because she is the one 
to crush the head of the serpent. In all our spiritual battles, may we always have recourse to the Queen of Heaven and Earth, and we will always be victorious. We turn now to God our Father, who secures justice for the oppressed, and offer him our prayers. That the Church will stand before the world without stain or blemish, holy and obedient to God's word, for an end to terrorism in the world, and for the healing of all hatred and division, for all families, that the Lord will bless and strengthen them to remain united in peace and love. That many young people will respond to Christ's call to follow him in the consecrated life and the priesthood. That our communities will grow in faith, hope and love. For the poor, the sick, the homeless, and those who are hungry or lonely or unemployed, that the mercy of God will raise them up. For the grace of greater confidence in the authority and power of Jesus in our life. We bring all our requests to Our Lady, Star of the Sea. O Mary, Star of the Sea, light of every ocean, guide seafarers across all dark and stormy seas, that they may reach the haven of peace and light prepared in him who calmed the sea. As we set forth upon the oceans of the world and cross the deserts of our time, show us, O Mary, the fruit of your womb, for without your Son we are lost. Pray that we will never fail on life's journey, that in heart and mind, in word and deed, in days of turmoil and in days of calm, we will always look to Christ and say, Who is this that even the wind and sea obey him? Amen. Loving Father, in you we take refuge. Incline your ear to us and save us. Be our fortress, our stronghold, our rock of refuge. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.